Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back to The Correct Views. Um, did you see Media Speaks? If not, go and check out Mediaspeaks.com. Not only are they a very hard-hitting, insightful organization, they also have yours truly as an affiliate. Which means that the show is growing, which means that you are the reason it's growing. Not me. I sound like Obama, I didn't build this. Technically speaking, in this instance, you built this. And I appreciate it. I really do. You're listening to a show that I put a lot of time in, and we're going to see if that time pays off right about now. Um, I have no phone, I have no laptop. This is my show. Yes. Um, and then, wouldn't you know, as soon as my laptop died, my phone died. The screen blinked out. So I feel like I'm Amish. So we're talking about Justin Amish. Worst segue ever. Yeah. All right, listen. Um, I've cheated around enough. I'm going to be serious. Justin Amish, uh, for those of you that don't know, is very much like Ron Paul. He is a constitutional, libertarian-minded um, the hero in terms of political um, speak. Um, he's also very, I think he's in his young, early 30s. I mean, he's what everybody would like to be um, if, if such a thing was. I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't know what he's like personally, but on paper and in practice, the man is amazing. Well, how do you get paid for being amazing in today's society? You get the royal shaft, that's what you get, and that is what Boehner, Boner, has allowed to happen to Justin Amish. He has been kicked off of the budget committee. So let me get this straight. A Ron Paul-minded person, which is to say the only person that really makes any sense, economically speaking, in this country, you have taken the only voice of financial reason and removed him from the budget committee. This is like removing birds from the sky, okay? This is ridiculous. And I heard about this, and I, there were other Tea Party members that uh, also got thrown overboard. I heard about this on the drive into work as I was scanning stations on, of all people, Mark Levin. And I say it that way because Mark Levin was somebody that I used to listen to. Then, when things drifted from his neocon ways to a more Ron Paul-minded movement, excuse me, within the party, he said that if Ron Paul ran as a third party, that he would do everything in his power that Mark Levin could do, he said, to make sure Rand Paul didn't win. Then, like a month ago, I was scanning through. Um, I go back and forth from him and sometimes listen to, uh, um, I, I believe it or not, a religious station here. I will sometimes, especially if I'm stressed, listen to that before work. Um, and if you know my job, that's hilarious. But it's true. Um, I've heard him say before that Rand Paul is the one of the one of the bright shining uh, examples of the Republicans' future. If he's such a bright future for all of us, then Mr. Levin, why did you threaten to help ruin his chances of getting elected because you might not have liked what his daddy did? You are a shallow piece of garbage, Mark Levin. But having said that, I gave credit where credit was due. I heard about it on Garbage's show. Um, Justin Amish and many, um, many very key Tea Party thinking um, that is interchangeable with the word with the word fiscally smart people have been kicked off of the budget committee. That is what Mr. Boehner, your great Tea Party conservative Republican, has allowed to happen. And that just goes to show you that the Republican Party lost all the poll bots. And now they are sinking. They are folding, as my friend Arnie Bloom says, like a rusty lawn chair under a fat man. You are listening to The Correct Views. I want to give a shout out to the Arcadia Grill, 
who has always supported this show, go to the Arcadia Grill in downtown Canton, walk in, take an immediate left, a right, and what do you see? A liquor shelf that is decked out. I, just, I mean, the positioning in the restaurant is artwork, and uh, eating there is almost like artwork. Their food is delicious, reasonably priced. It's on Court Avenue, the Arcadia Grill. I'm going to get to a few misconceptions that people have because I, in my last video got a comment from someone who thought that because I was doing this contest, and if you don't know, send, your, send me a picture of you eating meat on Monday because Los Angeles and the UN wants you to have a meatless Monday because if you eat meat, don't let God don't eat meat because we're eating so much meat the earth isn't sustainable. If you're an idiot, you believe that. If you're not an idiot, send me a picture of you eating meat and I will promote your favorite charity for a week. The week is this week, Adopt a Family, because I got a picture of somebody who wanted to support Adopt a Family and they sent me a picture of them eating meat. People miss the point of things. Someone left me a comment saying that I was against vegetarians. I'm against the UN telling people lies about sustainability and forcing their wants and desires on the American people. I'm not against vegetarians, so I would now open the contest up if you are a vegetarian. If you send me a picture of you saying, a little caption under it, I want to leave the UN. Then I will promote your favorite charity too. There, now vegetarians have been included. Anybody else send me a picture of you eating meat on Monday and I will do my very best to promote your favorite charity for a week. Uh, this reminded me though on a bigger scale. Misconceptions that people have about other people usually based on whether or not they are conservative or in my case libertarian and what some of that means. So I have six misconceptions right here. And when your laptop dies, this is what you have. Deal with it. Um, <coughs> conservatives like Sam, they, they, they hate sex on TV. No, you know what? I DJ in a topless bar as one of the ways I make money. So don't tell me that I hate sex. What me and many other conservatives hate is the fact that sex has replaced art. Let me tell you what I mean real quick. Nobody will go to a show to see dancers dance anymore. Unless they're topless. Now, I'm not saying I have anything against topless places. I am very thankful for the one that I work in. My point is that the